Hi devs, uh, one more discussion about the technical interview and a data structure that you will need to know in order to do well in these interviews, and that is the hash table. So we're going to talk about hash tables today. The uh, hash tables are also often referred to as a dictionary or a map. Uh, in JavaScript, uh, they basically use a, hash, a simple a specialized form of a hash table in order to implement uh, objects and object properties. So these are all the various different uh, ways that you might hear about um, uh, hash tables. Okay, so to do well in an interview with a hash table and figure out whether or not it's the right structure to use in the problem that you're being uh, presented, you need to understand the characteristics of the hash table and some special operations on it. The uh, operations um, are the ones that we have always been talking about and worried about are insert, remove, and find. Those are the main ones. So let's, uh, in order to, to figure out what, how these work, the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, understand how a hash table works. So the thing to remember most about a hash table is that it's a pair of key and value pairs. So for example, I could have a key that is, say, length. And I might want to associate with that key some value like uh, 30, uh, where I'm maybe thinking this is 30 meters, all right? So I, always, I have a bunch of keys and I have a bunch of values that go along with them and I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep track of these. Uh, first of all, we store the keys in an array. Remember we talked about array before, so we just have a straight array um, and it's only sparse, partially populated. We call it a sparse array and then we'll put the keys in here in somewhat kind of random locations, maybe length, there, height, here, you know, width will end up down here and so on. I'll talk a minute about how those get there, where they, where they belong and, and how we determine that. Uh, so, and then with each key then, I will have a, something that points to uh, its value. So height, uh, oh, length, better make sure that that's 30, width, two, you know, skinny and tall. All right, um, so this could be what my hash table looks like in a very simplistic version. Uh, okay, so um, the way that I figure out where the key is going to go is I hash the key. Uh, that's why it's called a hash table, because I hash the key. All hash means is it's a word that just means uh, jumble up. And so I take the key and I jumble it. For example, I could take the ASCII value of each one of the letters in the key and sum them up and then uh, mod it with the length of the array that I have here. And I'll end up with an index. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, something between 0 and 4. So uh, in this case, I've assumed that length hashes to the value 2, height hashes to 0, and width hashes to 3. And that's where I then put these keys as I put them in that location. I use this hash on the key in order to figure out where they are. So there's a lot more to hash tables, um, uh, especially you, as you can see that the, you could hash the keys to the same index multiple times, and so that adds complexity and so on. Uh, usually you don't need to worry too much about those in a, in a junior level technical interview. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to go study it, but, uh, but that's it for right now. So um, that's enough to let us at least think about these operations. So let's talk about um, the complexity of these operations. So to insert. Well, to insert, all I need to do is I need to hash the key. The hash usually is a very simple operation like um, uh, adding the, the, the letters in the key and then doing a division, so it's constant time. So this hash is constant, so I don't need to worry about it. And then it returns me an index, and if you remember from your list, the index, looking up in an index by, or looking up in an array by index is also a constant operation. You just do a little bit of arithmetic and you get to the right place. So that's constant. The hash is constant. The lookup is constant. Well, I can insert something in here and then constant time. So all of these operations 
that's constant. The remove, same thing, I just find it. To remove it, I'll just uh, wipe out the key. And um, that's also constant. And then finding something is also constant. So hash tables are really, really amazing for doing things with uh, these key value pairs and doing them very, very quickly. It's, they're very, very fast. And so they're used a lot in those types of things. That's why JavaScript uses, and many languages use uh, something equivalent to that for their object property lookups. Okay, uh, now that we know that, let's talk a little bit about the characteristics. I can use anything for the key, any type of object for the key, as long as I can hash it, that's all that matters. Um, but the data is stored in here in kind of a a um, sparse way in random order, so there is no sort. They are not sorted. If you try to iterate through the keys in a, a hash table, they'll come out in, in random order. And in fact, most hash table implementations don't even give you operations for iterating them because it's kind of uh, useless. Uh, I guess if you wanted to find everything that was in it, you could do that, but they'll come out in a random order. Um, uh, and that's really the basics of a hash table and what you will need to know about hash tables for a technical interview. Um, so uh, remember, if you're dealing with key value pairs, you're going to think hash table. Um, but if you need it sorted, can't use a hash table for sorting it. Sometimes you'll use a horse hash table in conjunction with a binary search tree so that you can keep it sorted. That's getting into the more complex stuff. But from the basic level, that is how a hash table works. Thank you.